what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're diving into some more full metal alchemist brotherhood man episodes 21 and 22 my god this series is so good so good such good writing um yeah man and you know everything that is going on right now you know edward's father just drop by <laughs> you know just drop by and then they're kind of you, you know finding out a little bit of the secrets mustang ending up killing lust and some of the secrets of the beyond is being revealed um seems like edward has fi figured something out a way that he can get al's body back you know, um, so we find out a little bit about that. So as we carry on, I'm pretty sure a lot more is going to be revealed. But it's such a good story. My God, it's not about the fighting. I'm just enjoying the story. But anyways, without no further ado, let's get to the reaction. I will see you guys for the review. so that was episode 21 and 22 full metal alchemist brotherhood man very very well done story these two episodes really more of like um got to see some some action in episode 21 um if you went after uh <laughs> you know all this time you know i thought dude didn't have no moves, but he did have moves. You know what I'm saying? He he took on the Fuhrer one on well, two on one really, um, and I think he's gonna get out of that pickle. I think he's gonna get out of that pickle, even though the Fuhrer, you know, um, you know, blocked. Even though he blocked his pathway from getting away, but I think he's gonna get out of that situation. If he doesn't. Yeah, you know I'm saying if he doesn't, it's gonna be sad. But at the same time, you know, I've enjoyed his character because his character is is a really funny character, <laughs> funny but annoying at times too. Cause they just pop up out of nowhere. They're supposed to be ninjas, <laughs> right? So, um, so it fits their character in a way, but still annoying. <laughs> Anyways, the Fuhrer is a problem. So we got to see a little bit more of Scar's backstory, which I, you know, I was interested to see. And we got to see that, to see how he ended up killing Winry's parents and stuff like that. And I would just, you know, hatred can drive you to do some, you know what I'm saying, remorse, it can drive you to do some crazy things, you know, that you never expected of yourself. You know what I mean? So for me, seeing that it was more of like, you know, what else can he possibly do in that situation? He's angry about his brother. His brother basically sacrificed him life to give him to give him an arm, it seems. Um, and he was mad about it. And I totally understand he was confused too. And he had all right to blame the state alchemist. I don't know if that one in particular because he's in prison now. So I don't know if that one in particular if he went rogue during the war and started just killing innocents. It could be that that's the case. I'm not sure yet. If this was talked about earlier in the show, I don't remember if it was talked about. And why this dude was in prison. But I think it has something to do with what he did in the war. Why he's in prison. Because I think. I think. If I remember correctly. I think he talked about it. To someone. I don't remember. I don't think Scar had killed him. Did he? Did Scar kill him? I don't remember. I think the reason why they locked him up was because he went rogue. I think. If I'm not mistaken, somebody put it in the comment section and remind me of that because I don't remember exactly because he was it was such a passerby moment and now they're kind of bringing it back up and all of the stuff in this series like at that point I think 
I wasn't necessarily paying attention or I, or I just don't remember exactly what he said. But I do believe that he did say something towards that point about what happened in the war and why he's in jail. Um, I know Scar went to visit him. But I don't remember if he if Scar killed him. If I'm remembering correctly. I know you guys will remind me in the comment section, those who are watching my review. But, but yeah, regardless, that would, you know, explain his disdain towards, you know, all the state alchemists. But I don't think all the, the state alchemists that were there during the war was killing innocents like that. I really, do, I, I, I'm not going to believe that because Mustang was one of them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think Mustang did that during the war. But I can understand why Scar blames all of them for, for everything. Why is he blaming, you know, why is he blaming Edward? I think that's just misguidance in my opinion because he should actually be targeting those that were involved during the war. Elric is just a kid. You know what I mean? He's just a kid. Why go after him? Why say all state alchemists are of the same? You know what I'm saying? I could understand. And that's the thing, like to target, to put a blanket over it like that. And that's how revenge usually works. There's a blanket that they just put over everything and be like, you know what? If you're affiliated with this person that did it to me, you, you could die too. You know what I'm saying? You could die too. And I think that's a little bit more of misguidance more than anything else or just, um, you know, there's no clear target. Because if you take out all the city alchemists, you're just going to have more and more to deal with. They're not going to stop putting more state alchemists in place. People, you know what I'm saying, and replace them. So you get what I'm saying? So you have a lifelong journey but he was willing to die by Winry's hand just like she hesitated and I you know with this series there's a, the, the story aspects are very very unique in my opinion unique in my opinion like it's a story you don't you know it's like there's a natural and a supernatural environment you know, it's a natural and a supernatural em environment. You're still human, even though they're they're kind of technically, some of them have superpowers. It's kind of, it, you get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, there's an environment that they got to live in. They're still in the human world. They exist in this world that me and you live in, but they have a little bit of, they have a little bit of power. And it's a power that anybody could achieve if they put their mind to it, to be honest. So... Um, you're getting to see that enjoyment, not, not the enjoyment, that environment that they live in and how they operate within it. And there's this threat and it just so happens that the threat is at the top of the food chain. You get what I'm saying? And they got to figure out how to maneuver to get rid of this threat. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't make themselves known going against this threat that's at the top of the food chain it's kind of like you know in a sense in a sense it kind of re reminds me of operation valkyrie the one that was never succeeded like no but at, at least um i think in history they don't know what happened to they they really don't know a lot of people they believe that that hitler died by you know that he was he died from a sickness i think um but operation valkyrie if you've never seen if you can read up about operation valkyrie um operation valkyrie is con considered a failed um a failed um ass assassination attempt on hitler right they infiltrated and they had to infiltrate as german soldiers to actually get in the room and and you know leave the bomb in there but he didn't die from it you get what i'm saying I, i'm not even i'm not even sure if he died or whatever you know what i'm saying if you guys know more about operation valkyrie put it in the comment section because at this moment nobody knew if he died from that explosion or not 
that's the consensus around it. Um, but in my opinion, I think it was a failed attempt because things still happened after that. You know, I don't know if they pretended like Hitler was still alive to keep, you know, the fear, you know what I'm saying, going or whatever. Um, and to keep everybody in line. I don't know if that's what they did or whatever the situation is. Um, but either way, you know, it was, in my opinion and from what I've read, I don't know if there's the real history out there, you know, but from what I've read about it, it's considered a failed attempt, right? So when it comes on to this show, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the, 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 they're trying to get to that. Is like Mustang is trying to infiltrate the Fuhrer, right? But he still doesn't know who's really at the, the elm of this thing, which it is the Fuhrer, but the Fuhrer still has a boss, which I suspect is the father of Edward Elric. That's my suspicion. And until they prove otherwise, I'm still he's still going to be in the hot seat for me because I believe it's him. I think he's the one that created the Homunculus. He... I mean, there's no, unless they're going to introduce a completely new character at the end, I do believe it's, it's the dad and he's probably going to have some weird philosophical reason why he's been doing this. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and I'm here for it. I'm here for where the story is going. They're going to have to prove me wrong because right now I see a little bit of the foreshadowing unless it's misleading. That is him maybe they are misleading me to think that it's him but at the same time you know you know when they would have to be doing an incredible job to be mis misleading me right now because maybe they are doing that on purpose for me to suspect them but at the same time if it's revealed to be somebody totally different i am going to be shocked at this moment because there's so many things since he's returned there's so many things about the foreshadowing of this dude it's like where has he been this whole damn time he just up and left one day nobody knows where he went and he hasn't been back then he shows up have dinner with the old lady and all this stuff talking to edward you know telling him he was afraid to leave and all of this other stuff like it's just it's just crazy stuff that's going on with this guy and then he telling the old lady he needs to get out of town because you know, something big is going to happen and all of that good stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later, man. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.